A new audit shows Douglas County taxpayers are not getting bang for their buck when it comes to helping children in the court system. The state auditor says Douglas County lawyers are being paid to represent children and not actually helping them. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Jennifer Griswold. As a result, it has cost taxpayers millions of dollars. Senior reporter Jake Wazakowski investigates New at 6. Douglas County by far handles more juvenile cases than any other county in Nebraska. But the state auditor has questions about where that money is going. State Auditor Mike Foley says in 2012 and 2013, the county paid $1.7 million to Omaha firms Thomas and Contro PC and Monahan and Monahan. The county paid another $1.5 million to non contract attorneys appointed by judges. And we looked at the billings that these attorneys were filing with Douglas County Court. And we found them re replete with errors, uh, sometimes uh, showing that they had done work on cases that had been closed previously, sometimes working on cases supposedly that they hadn't even been assigned to. Fully concluded firms didn't report accurate cases. Attorneys didn't show up to court. Some claim they worked more than 12 hours on a single case in a day, and guardians ad litem sometimes didn't meet with the kids. They're required to meet with them within two weeks of their appointment, then every six months, and to be at every hearing. So these are very serious concerns. We've got to make sure that these children are protected. There's no one more vulnerable than an abused child. Have an attorney assigned to that child, and then the attorney doesn't follow through with his obligations or her obligations. Thomas Monahan represents Monahan and Monahan, but isn't related to them. He told KMTV today, "The concern we have is the auditors should know they can't do an audit on lawyers who have an ethical obligation to clients." And auditors didn't understand enough how courts work to realize their information was incomplete. The report noted many files weren't turned over because they were confidential. Foley says the county never reviewed contractual reports for accuracy. Scrutinize those invoices and build in some checks and balances to make sure that those children are being properly represented. Make sure that those attorneys really are showing up. Jake Wazikowski reporting Douglas County hired the state to do this audit. Another issue, can Douglas County even hire firms to do the ad litem work? By law, it's actually up to a judge to make the decision, so the county will ask the attorney general for a ruling. A few weeks ago, the county board renewed Monahan and Monahan's contract for another year.